you made your own you made your own community you made your own world and it was thriving we had black businesses like you would not believe uh you know the uh, story uh our funeral homes cab service hotels black people did it all it was not just one experience here in San Antonio. We did everything. And we weren't just on the east side either. You know that there were, there were uh, African Americans living on the west side as well. So if you were really gonna look at San Antonio, the African American here in this community, you can't just look one place. And at that time, Whenever you would apply for a job for the city, if you were black, or with the San Antonio School District, they would ask you, have you seen Mr. Bellinger? And you have to go by and see Mr. Bellinger to get his approval before you were hired for the city or for uh, the school district. And he was a very powerful man. But we kind of take a sense of pride because we we kind of know some of the things that, that, that actually went, went on. Uh, those were just some of the few, Langston Hughes, uh, Thurgood Marshall, uh, Mary, Mary McLeod Bethune visited the church on a regular basis. Uh, she would go to the Carver and come over here on su Sunday and speak. Uh, and, and so she, she was here, she came to St. Paul on a regular basis. And fast forward into current time, um, we even had uh, John Connolly to come here. Uh, we had Jesse Jackson, he was running for president. He made a stop here at St. Paul. Knowing your history and realizing that we have accomplished a great deal, and part of what has made San Antonio great uh, is what we have contributed to that. first black president in the Americas. His name was Vicente Guerrero. In Mexico, there's a state, Mexico has 31 states. The state of Guerrero is named after this black president. He's the one who abolished slavery. And he abolished slavery, this is really interesting, on 1829, at the time they were celebrating the victory against the Spaniards. So J.C. Sace, we celebrate that now. J.C. Sace is when the time frame that he abolished slavery. So when we think of Jesse Says, most black folks just think of that as a Mexican holiday, the victory of Mexico over the Spaniards. But it ought to be a black holiday too because that's when the first black president abolished slavery. M Mexicans don't know that, Hispanics don't know that, and black folks don't know that, okay? So when he abolished slavery and he abolished this system called the Costa system, which means lighter skinned people at the top, Think of it as a pyramid, darker people at the bottom. Guerrero abolished all that. When he did that, Moses Austin, or by this time his son, Stephen F. Austin, they were angry because they had brought all these slaves from Tennessee and other places to Texas, to San Antonio. They were totally upset. And so that is the real reason for the Battle of the Alamo and the war with Mexico. That's the real reason. We aren't taught that. We're told this fictitious, mythical story. So in terms of the African-American population, we have been told so many things. Uh, and even when there's been an attempt to include some uh, acceptance of African-American history, it's been whitewashed. <laughs> 